Hey YouTube, just a quick review of the settings on the Intex sand filter and how they work. So the first setting is the filter setting, which we're currently on. And the way that works is the water is going to come into the main tank, pump through the hose on the right hand side, into the collection basket. That's also where you would empty out larger debris, like twigs and leaves and stuff. Flows up through the hose right here, into the top of the tank, and then the, the uh, water is going to flow from the top down through the sand to the bottom. And inside this tank, in addition to the sand, you also have a hub and spoke configuration. So there is a pipe in the center that comes down, and then off that pipe are little laterals, or plastic, uh, just little littler plastic pipes, and they come off like this, again in a hub and spoke configuration. That water is sucked through the laterals, back up through the center pipe, into the top of the tank, and then returned to the pool via this hose. And that's how the filter option works. That's how it's that's how it's cleaning the water. Now the next setting is the waste setting. And when you have it on waste, typically what you're doing is you have a lot of debris, algae in your pool, and you don't want to run it through the filter because you don't want to gum up the sand, so you just put it on waste and you can pump as much water as you deem necessary out of the pool prior to filtering. So when you have it on the waste setting, this is the output right here. You're gonna to want to take off this cap and also take out the rubber gasket in there just so you don't lose it. And when you flip that on, it'll just keep, it'll just pump water out of the pool until you turn it off. So that's how the waste function works. Now, there is another option up here, closed option. So let's say that you had it on waste, you turned the pump off, but water is still coming out the drain right there and you want to put the, put the cap and stuff back on. Just flip it over to closed, that'll prevent the flow of water, and then you can go ahead and replace that cap. So just, uh, just again, prevents the flow of water. Now, the backwash option, there's a uh, couple of different methodologies on when you should do this. Um, some people say to do it weekly, others bi-weekly, others say to watch this uh, pressure gauge here. Now, I've been doing it bi-weekly. I don't think that I need to because I haven't seen the pressure build, but just to be safe, I have been. But if, you, if you're keeping an eye on this and you see it go out of the green into the yellow, obviously, especially the red, then you're going to want to go ahead and do a backwash. And what that's going to do is it's going to reverse the flow of water. So it's going to come from the bottom of the tank, push up through the sand to get all the debris and stuff that are stuck in the sand out. And then it's going to, sh again, shoot out this output here. Now this little bulb here, is a little, they call this a sight glass. And while you're backwashing, you're going to want to keep an eye on that sight glass. Um, as soon as it starts to look clear, then you should be able to go ahead and turn off backwash. You can also just watch the water coming out of the um, coming out of the output once it starts to look good then or clear. Then you should be able to turn off the backwash cycle. Now, once you're done backwashing, you're always going to want to make sure that you do a rinse cycle. And they say to do this for at least 30 seconds. Um, what that's going to do is it's just going to again rinse the sand, and then it also Kind of redistributes because in this tank right filled up to you know, about here so there's sand so when you do the backwash it's pushing it throwing it all around so that rinse cycle is going to kind of redistribute the sand over the top of the tank as well as clean it out so again do that for about 30 seconds you're going to want to going to want to have the uh, output cover removed because it's going to be shooting water out of there and then the last option here is recirculate now when you have it on recirculate what's happening is the water again is coming through the main tank into this collection basket and usually what you would do when you're using the recirculate is you stick a chlorine tab or a bromine tab in here and that water is going to flow over the top of that up through here into the top of the filter and instead of going down through the sand it's going to actually just recirculate it right back into the pool via the return. So that's the, uh, that's the settings and how they work. Hopefully that was informational. Um, if you have any questions, just go ahead and toss it in the comments. Otherwise, thanks for viewing.